Emmerdale's Bob and Wendy have had their ups and downs, haven't they? But will they finally make it work? The path of true lovey. Tony on Sean plays Emmerdale's Bob joins me now. So good to see you. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm eight out of ten, I say, Lorraine. Can you match <laughs> eight that? out of ten. No, that's that's good. I'll accept that. That sounds fine. Now look, twenty years you've been in Emmerdale. Twenty years, extraordinary. You only came in for a couple of weeks, didn't you? I came in for three months, and uh, yeah, I didn't know how long how long I'd be in for, what the character was going to be. I don't think they were sure at work whether Bob was going to be a bigamist at the start. But uh, whatever I did, I must have done something right at the start. Because you know, you're still, still here. Of course you on. are. And he has been married seven times, twice, of course, to Viv. It's not always worked out, let's be honest. But the possibility of love again with Wendy, they keep it just keeps missing each other, don't they? They just It doesn't quite get there. <laughs> yeah, it's it's been unfortunate. And it's obviously the last time with this thing with the, the, the love letter, he thought it was Rishi. And now what's happened is she keeps getting these texts yeah. all the time and he's fearing the worst he thinks that she might be seeing somebody else he doesn't know what it is really it is very strange you know look, we've got a wee peek from tonight when you think hurrah they're going for a drink at the bar it's all going to be fine but let's have a look thank you for last night i i had a really nice time yeah are you sure that i wasn't keeping you from something no <laughs> no it's, it's just that your phone was beeping more than a Smoke alarm on bonfire night. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry about that. I did get a few messages. A few? Thought it was going to spontaneously combust. <laughs> anyway, if you fancy hitting the bright lights of hot on again. It... Uh, yeah, I, I need to follow these up. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you soon. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh dear, well there's a secret there and we'll find out, we'll find out soon. So, Tony, back at work now, obviously off during the, the, the worst of the lockdown, but back now, but big changes, isn't it? It's very, very different. It's taken some getting used to, really. Uh, I mean, the main difference is that I've got to do my own hair and makeup, as we all do. Yeah. And uh, my daughter's given me a great haircut, actually. She gave me a haircut, first of all, to match up episodes that are going out this week. We right. filmed some of it in the middle of March and ah, some of it 10 days ago. Right. So she had to look at a picture and cut my hair, it, this, you know, the same style and, sure. and length that it was then, so, that, so the Good scenes job. match. I've had a bit more off this time. <laughs> so, you know, she's got a bit carried away. I uh, think it looks good. The front no, side of the old Bob Quiff. Yeah, she's done, a, she's done a fantastic job. I suppose it's, it's different, isn't it? There's going to be a lot more, like, just two characters involved or three characters involved. We're not going to see those big crowd scenes in the wool pack or, or everybody getting kind of close to one another. It's, it's a new world we live in. That's right. You're limited to a certain number of people on set, mainly because we've got to keep two metres between each other. So I know that I was due to be in an episode in a couple of weeks' time and simply because they can't get five people on the set and yep. move at the same time. I've been cut out of that episode. Um, yeah, and that's so it. So it might look different in that people won't be hugging or kissing this week. The next couple of weeks they will be because parts of it was shot before the lockdown. Sure, sure. But otherwise, but it, it, it will look like we're close to each other because of the way the cameras work. Ah, that makes sense. Now, look, you are a fit man. You've been cycling, haven't you? I know there's the Emmerdale cycle team. That's right. Well, two years ago, we did Wales in a day, which is 190 miles from wow. the, the, the top end of Wales to the bottom. And this year, we got a team of 20 together from work, which is a tremendous amount of people. And we're all going to do Ride London. And like many of the, the big set piece events, unfortunately, it's been cancelled. And uh, this year also, the, the charity was going to be Pancreatic Cancer UK. They were the, the, the official charity. And that's what my wife had and what my wife sadly died of. Um, so, you know, they're missing out on a big chunk of money. All the charities are at the moment. There's Ruth, there she is. Ruth wow. loves cycling herself. Um, we used to go cycling a lot, and it would have been great to get 20 of us together mm. and cycle on August the 16th, but, it's, you know, it's not going to happen this year. Not this year, but I know that it will. I mean, this is so close to your heart and so important to you. It's only on hold. It's only on hold. And are you still running? Because I know you're an amazing marathon runner. What's been your best time? in the marathon, go on. Well, my best time was 2.58.49. You don't forget that, because wow. I spent years trying to get under <laughs> under three hours. That's incredible. Uh, but I'm a bit slower these days, but I'm in, I'm in week seven of training, not for an event at the moment, just I'm just sort of training to keep fit at the moment. And I've been out on the, on the bike a bit as well. No, you uh, haven't. But, and also during lockdown, I've seen you in your shed. You've been doing right. this, yes. I, 
I went in the shed. Yeah, look at that, look at that fellow with that beard. Yeah, I made a series of 46 little mini videos all about different things. And I put them on my Twitter. And since then, I've put them on YouTube. And when we found out that Ride London was cancelled, what I decided to do was just put a little uh, giving page together for Pancreatic Cancer UK. And people have been donating. It's got to around £5,000. So Brilliant. I'm very thankful for everybody who donated towards that. I put some money in myself there as well. <laughs> and that's still Good. open. So they're all on YouTube if people want to watch them. They're, they're a nice, quirky little bit of fun. We, we get inside your head. We get inside your head, Tony, and it's an interesting place to be, let me tell you. It's very good. <laughs> now, you were saying you've got the kids with you, you've got your children, grown-up children, of course, and they graduated, but, of course, this year it's so blinking sad, isn't it? All, all, the, all the young people that are graduating from uni and college, it's virtual. They can't go out with their pals. Yeah, they've both been in the final months of the course. My son is a, a, a designer. This, this is one of his works. It's cool. New Mills. This is where we're live from New Mills at the moment. He's, a, he's in UX, user experience on the whole, which is all apps and websites. Right. So he's just finished his master's. Good. My daughter's just completed a degree in songwriting. But they've been really busy, heads down. It's good, so I've been down the shed keeping out of the way, really, the last <laughs> few months. But good to be together, because you, don't, you wouldn't normally have got that time. I find that with, with, with my daughter. You normally wouldn't get the time just to hang out. I mean, they'd come visit, but that's different to being there all the time. It's, it's been, I mean... It, it's been one of the few lights, you know, and among some of this darkness that you, you can spend more time. Unfortunately, they're both horrible people. <laughs> and so, no, no, no. It's been absolutely delightful, you know. It's been great. And we haven't actually fallen out once, no. Six or seven times, not once. I know. No, but we it, haven't fallen out at all. It's been it's absolutely good. lovely to have them around. And, you know, just to anybody who's out there on their own, uh, you know, I hope now you're making contact with people and, you know, if you're shielding that uh, you are getting to see some people or Zooming or whatever and having some social contact. I've been very lucky in that respect. No, it's good. And it's slowly, slowly, it's little baby steps. That's what Dr. Hillary says. We're yeah. just taking little baby steps. You know, what we do now is absolutely crucial um, and we just have to be, be careful exactly what you guys are doing on set. If everybody was as stringent as we are here, you are there, you know, we, we'd be OK. We'd be OK, because they're taking great, great pains to make sure it works. Lovely to talk to you. Thank you so, so much. You too. Always a joy. Thank you. Very